So after setting up your WordPress website, there's a few things that you may need to do to optimize your website to make it load faster. Now, loading speed is very, very important because when people come to your website and your website takes um, a few seconds to load up this can cause people to leave your website and this is even worse if you have an e-commerce website and you're trying and you're selling products on it and when people come to it your page takes long to load this is also something that can cause you to have less sales on your website so as i was doing a bit of research i came across a plugin that will make your website load faster in a very few clicks so i was curious to test this and really see if this actually works now i'm going to do this test on MacUniversity.com because i noticed that as more and more subscribers and more students are signing up onto mac university the website is getting slower and slower so i really want to increase the speed of my website to give my visitors and subscribers a better experience when they come to my website Hi, my name is Mac from MacUniversity.com, a resource website which has courses, tips, tutorials on web design and online marketing. So consider going to MacUniversity.com and check out the membership options. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to test this on my Mac University website. So let's dive in. Let me show you how I'm going to make the few tests. So I'm going to test this first and then do a before and after, after I've installed the plugin and see if this actually works. Right, so over here, uh, you can see here, it's MacUniversity.com that I, that I have set up. So I'm just gonna copy this URL here. And then I'm gonna use two websites. The first one is called GT Matrix. So this is a free tool where you can set up, uh, where you can uh, actually see how your website is performing. So I'm gonna click on analyze and then just see what score I get from this. So this usually takes a, a few seconds. And uh, also you may notice here my test server region is Vancouver, Canada. It would be nice if I could get a UK server whereby I can really get like the actual uh, reading. But of course, you know, it's not too bad. Well, okay, so as we can see here, the performance scores are as follows. The page speed score is C and that's a 72%. It's not bad, but it's quite low. And here my uh, fully loaded time is 3.4 seconds again. Um, Hopefully this can be improved. And when I take a look here at um, my recommendations, I can actually see that uh, serve scaled images. So I, I need to really do something here about my images. So this is something that I will be working on and hopefully this plugin will be able to resolve this. We also have here leverage browser, uh, browser caching. I have a C for that. And uh, if I scroll down here, there's also another F and this is for um, query strings from static resources. Now, I'm not sure uh, if uh, what these things are, but hopefully once I've installed the plugin, it'll be able to do this because it claims to make your website faster within a few clicks. All right. So just to have two independent results, I'm also going to come over here to Kingdom uh, uh, Pingdom tools. OK, so I'm just going to add my website again and then this time this allows us to choose a server which is close to me so i'm going to choose europe and then click start test so i'm not expecting to have similar results but at least if i can get uh, results which are pretty much very close uh, in terms of how the website is performing i'll be yeah, happy with that because i'm going to use that as a benchmark all right so my website is loaded so here I'm getting a load, a load time of 2.38 and my performance grade is D. Okay, so this is D and then over here I've also got E. Right, so we have a differences of uh, load uh, page time. Well, that is okay. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to install the plugin. So the plugin is from a website called WP Rocket. Now this plugin here is um, quite powerful. So for one website it's going to cost you 39 dollars and i've already bought mine uh, on the 6th of december here and i've already downloaded it so all i have to do now is to go and activate it on my website and then see how it goes so if i come over here on this main page we also notice that uh, that claim uh, where it says make wordpress load fast in a few clicks and uh, when i scroll down here uh, we also see uh, what it can do so it does the pa uh, the page caching uh, the cache preloading. In fact, some of this stuff may be, you know, uh, technical, but the most important thing is I'm just going to take a look at uh, the speed test and see if it's working faster. All right, so I'm going to come back over here 
and uh, I'm going to uh, activate my plugin. So I'm going to come over here onto plugins, click on installed plugins. So as you can see, just loading up my plugins is taking quite a while. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here and this is, uh, this is it. I'm going to click on activate. Right, so my plugin is activated. All I have to do now is to go to the plugin and go into the settings. So I'm going to click here on uh, WP Rocket settings. Okay, so here we have a notification saying, congratulations, WP Rocket is now activated and already working for you. So that's great news. Um, that seems uh, to be good. And then uh, I'm just going to come over here and just take a look at all these items here and just see what I can activate by default. So I'm going to click here on cache and here enable caching for mobile devices. That's good. Um, and then over here, user cache. Okay. So that seems to be fine. Uh, I'm going to check here on uh, file optimization. Again, we have uh, fonts. So all this is optimized for us. So I'm just going to leave the defaults as they are. I'm, I'm not going to go in and uh, make any changes. But the most important thing here is CDN because this also makes your website fast. Now, the hosting that I'm using uh, provides me with a CDN, so I don't need to worry about this. But if you have an external CDN and a CDN is a content development network, all you have to do is to activate it here and then add your C names over here. Okay, so that, uh, that is how you would activate your CDN. But pretty much everything else, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then I'm just going to now test and see if things have changed. I'm not sure how uh, this kicks in. So uh, before I um, go in, I'm just going to give this a few, uh, few more seconds. Right, so the moment of truth. Let's see what happens now for on, our, on our retest. So again, this is going to take a bit of time but hopefully this should be completed soon. Okay, so it looks like my page speed score has gone up to 93%, which is fantastic. And over here now I have less, less things that I need to optimize, which is fantastic. Now I can see here uh, leverage browser caching. This is something that I may need to go in and fix, but at least now I have a very high score here and here my fully loaded time as well is a bit low. Now let's come over here to our pingdom and let's see what happens here. So I'm just going to come again and click on start test. So again, this is going to take a bit of time. And again, I'm curious to see <laughs> what result I get from this. Okay, so right away, I can see my performance grade has increased to 79, and it's grade C, which is fantastic. Now, the most important part here is, look at the load time, 1.43 seconds. Now, this is phenomenal. This is amazing. I'm really excited about this, and I'm glad I've actually purchased this plugin. So, there is an increase of uh, performance speed and also the speed overall. So now my seconds have been shaved down to about 1.4 on Pingdom and also on this GT Matrix is about 3.4. But of course, uh, these two websites may be different. Uh, they are different, but the most important thing is I started off with a very high load time and now it has gone, uh, it has improved. So that's the most important thing. So I actually recommend this plugin because it does work. So I would say, go ahead, try it out. The link to that is in the description below. So if you could use that my, my affiliate link, I'll really appreciate it. So go ahead, add it onto your website and this will increase the performance as, as you've seen with my website. So let me know uh, how you get on with that. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this, leave your questions in the comments box below. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see you soon.